Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parso or Iupad, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video on a very, very crazy money making method that I would like to share with you guys. So basically, this money making method makes upwards of 45 million coins an hour. Actually, that's like about the max you can make with a completely max heart of mountain tree and a max mining setup. About 45 million coins an hour. Maybe a little bit more if you have yourself a Devon drill. Now, personally, I don't really have that great of a tree. Um, my tree only has about 2 million gemstone powder and 3.7 million mithril powder. So I don't have the craziest setup, and yet I still make about 38 to 40 mil an hour with this method. So it's just absolutely crazy. So basically, the method that we're going to be talking about in this video is armadillo mining. Now, I'm sure many people know what it is, and maybe many people don't know what it is. Basically, armadillo mining is when you mine with an armadillo. Uh, I'll show a little clip on the screen now. You just ride the armadillo, and you mine it, basically. And... Many of you may be asking, well, how would you refuel the armadillo? So, this is very simple. Uh, there's a little, basically, glitch to refuel the armadillo. And I'll show you guys right now. So, you need a fishing rod for it. Uh, and you just grab a fishing rod, and you need two pet rolls. So, you need a pet roll set for on fishing rod cast. Any pet. You could choose any pet of your choosing, except for the armadillo. So, I'll just do my ender dragon. And then, after that pet roll, you want to set another pet roll on throw fishing hook for armadillo. So, one thing that's important, make sure that the armadillo pet rule doesn't come before the other pet pet rule. And then, what you do is basically, you just spam it, like this. And as you can see, the armadillo refuels. Now, the armadillo mining is a very important step in this method, but a more the more important step is actually where you mine. And, I'm sure lots of people don't know about this. Uh, the place where you should be mining is the sapphire um, monuments. So... A little clip of this will be on the screen now, and uh, this is basically the Sapphire Monument. It's just this big monument uh, with Sapphire crystals everywhere. There are two viable monuments that you can mine at. Now, the difficult part about this is actually finding the monuments, because there are no set cords. They're always in the Precursor Ruins, and they always spawn in the lobby, but they're quite difficult to find. Alright guys, so the first thing you actually want to do is go ahead and spawn in the Precursor Rems. So, this probably usually doesn't take very long. It might take a little bit of time, depending on your luck. But, you want to spawn in the Precursor Rems, and basically, there isn't much of a way to find these monuments. Uh, you just have to get lucky. Alright guys, so after an insanely long amount of time searching, I finally found one of the two mining lobbies. Now, here it is, um, this is the first one, so pretty easy to identify, pretty obvious. Uh, now this one is the one mining lobby that takes the more maintenance, I would say. So, uh, you're gonna need some cobblestone to actually set up this lobby, and I'm gonna teach you how to set it up now. So, basically, you're gonna wanna start with this little part here. Uh, it's the only, like, little ledge in the corner, and this is the first crystal. So, we're just going to basically build underneath the crystal so that we can, you know, mine it with the armadillo and then not fall to our deaths. So, right here, we just build it like this uh, and just build out a platform. And I'm just going to quickly speed this up. Alright, so the next crystal is this one right here, just right beside this one. Pretty simple. Again, just mine it out and just... Uh, build under here. Alright, so that's that. Um, it's basically it. I can just add a little layer here. Now, you actually keep in mind, you can't armadillo mine every gemstone. It's quite weird. So, this is why we're doing only specific gemstones. The next gemstone we're going to go to is this one. And uh, this one, you probably don't need really a platform even, but we're just going to build a little one here, just to not fall too much. Alright, so there we go. Now, the next crystal, we're going to go from here up to there. Now, crystals are kind of weird, so sometimes you can mine some of them, you can't mine all of them. So you can mine all of this crystal, and then you can mine about half of this. You can't mine the bottom part of these two crystals. So, uh, it's up to you how you want to build your little cobblestone thingy. I'm just gonna kind of build mine coming, like, out of the wall here. If I can just... 
get to that point in my AOTD or AOTV, and then I'm just gonna build like this. Alright, so that's about the padding that I'm going to build for this one. Uh, this is about sufficient as long as you can just mine all these gemstones. So from here, we're going to go to that gemstone. So this is the gemstone we're going to mine. We're just going to mine, uh, we're just going to build a little platform under this one. Like so. Alright, so we built the platform under this one. Someone's mining this here, but it's okay. He mines it quite slow. And the next one is right up here. You're just going to want to build a platform under these two gemstones. Alright, so that's about it for this one. So we're almost done. Uh, next, we're going to build under this one. Uh, and keep in mind that lots of these crystals have stuff in the wall too, so you can kind of go up into the wall a little bit and there'll probably be some crystal there. Now the last one we're going to have to build under is the, this one right over here. All right, so that's the last one you're actually gonna have to build a little platform from what one for. Now the last, uh, you're gonna be doing a couple more. So these two, you're gonna go from this one to these two, and you're gonna mine these two. And then the last one is that one over there. So uh, I currently don't have a fuel tank on my drill engine or on my drill because I this is not my drill. I'm borrowing the drill. But uh, I'll do a quick little lap and just test the money really quickly, uh, or at least I'll do as much as my fuel holds. And uh, just show you guys approximately how much you make. Alright guys, so sadly I'm already out of fuel, uh, really sucks on this drill engine. As you can see here, I only did these, so I still have that entire crystal left, that entire crystal left, those two massive crystal lefts, and that crystal left. So all of that, and from all of that, I just got 2.5 million coins, which is quite on the low end still, but you could just imagine that if I got 2.5 million coins and I didn't even complete the full lap, if I did this, this, and this, I would get around 3 to 3.5 million coins. And that's in a lap which you can complete in about five minutes so if you just like if you do the math that's a lot of money you can make 35 mil 40 mil an hour and again my setup isn't even too maxed out i only have uh 42 in fortune so it's not even that great uh and yet still i am getting that much mu that much money all right guys so i just found the next mining spot and uh we're just gonna head up here so, lots of these crystals are currently mined because my buddy is mining here, but uh, I'm just gonna like show you the outline of where you're supposed to mine. Uh, so, basically, you start up here, and the first crystal you're gonna want to mine, this is obviously mined right now, 
but you're just gonna want to mine this entire like there's gonna be a big crystal over here and next you're gonna want to go down and back here and there's gonna be like three big crystals they're gonna be very noticeable and you're just gonna mine one of mine uh two of these you can't mine this one but you're gonna mine these two wow these are actually doing a lot of damage so from here you're gonna want to head up and here there's gonna be two massive crystals these are probably the biggest crystals here it goes all the way up you're just gonna want to mine you don't have to build anything in this in this entire lobby you're gonna want to mine this these two entire crystals and then head here there's gonna be a crystal here you're gonna want to mine this crystal and then you're gonna want to dig through the wall and mine the crystal that is here there's gonna be a pretty obvious crystal right over here Next, you're going to want to hop down and mine. Here we go. These are mine. You're going to want to mine this crystal over here and this crystal over here. Uh, oh, these are so annoying. You can't actually mine this entire crystal, but you're going to be mining most of it. As you can see, my friend is currently doing it. Next, from here, you're going to head straight over to here. And you're going to mine this crystal over here. Just this one crystal. It's going to be going kind of into the little uh, wall here. From here, you're just going to go back and up to over here. So, here, I'll just try to show you one more time. This this is where we were for this crystal. We went down, over there, then over here, through this hole. And the last crystal you're going to mine, my friend's mining it. There's a crystal here. You're going to want to mine this. And then you're going to want to mine this crystal over here. I'll just show you guys like this. You're just going to want to mine this crystal over here. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it for all the crystals. And then from here, you make a little hole, and it goes right back to the beginning and uh there we are right here and then you just complete or you just keep doing the loop so in my opinion this is the better spot because you don't actually have to wait a long time and set everything up although supposedly the other one has bigger crystals and makes more money all right guys so there's not much more i can really say uh for this video that's basically it those are the two spots use the armadillo and you mine everything a couple quick things just to remind you you're gonna want to have your um drill out obviously while you're mining it so that you get the fortune if you want a little bit of a guide on how to set up a heart of the mountain tree i can do a video on that later so if you guys want that let me know down below and finally i don't usually ask for subscribers it's kind of a scummy thing to do but i'm really trying to grow my channel and uh get up there a little bit and get known so if you guys don't mind you can always subscribe it's always free obviously and uh you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the skyball content there aren't many endgame skyblock youtubers like me, so um, yeah, that's it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.